Vance had a lot more to say in that 37-minute speech. Let's get straight to the floor for reaction. Hey, Jason Calvi, I know you are on the floor. You watched the speech just like we did up here in the box. What was your take from what was said tonight in that about 35-minute speech? Yeah, you know, he talked about addiction. He talked about his own mother and her triumph over addiction. That was one of the highlights for many people here. We're actually here with former Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson. You've been to 40, you've been going to conventions for 48 years. 48 years. How did this, this, how did this, this one? This is my 12th convention. This one is way out in front because I've never seen the Republican Party so unified. There's an, there's a, a contagious feeling in this area of enthusiasm that we're going to win, and we're going to win quite easily, and we're going to carry Wisconsin, and there's no way Democrats can win if we carry Wisconsin. I saw that you had you were teary-eyed. What was the what was the experience like? What was the emotion for you? The fact you know that he comes from a broken home. His poor mother was there, and she of course overcome a drug addiction. He grew up in a divided home. You know that's those are the things you know that that individuals, you know, are going to like in Wisconsin. Somebody that picks themselves up. Then he went on to school, law school, and then he went to the Marines. People are going to love that kind of a story. And the way he tells it, it's moving. It's an emotional. And I'm an emotional person, as you can tell. And I loved it. I love the fact, you know, that this is going to resonate throughout the state of Wisconsin. Then he writes a, a national bestseller. Who, who's got all those kind of talents but J.D. Vance, and he's only 39 years old. What did you think about those men mentions to, to addiction? I mean, what is that going to mean here in Wisconsin, do you think? He's going to resonate with people that have that problem. Every family has some kind of problem. A lot of them are, are drug addiction. And this is going to resonate with those people, that there's somebody in the White House that understands their problem and is willing to do something about it. That's got to bring so much peace and so much gratitude to those individuals that they got somebody that knows the problem, has lived the problem, and wants to do something about it. It was a message that was going to go across this country, and I'll tell you, I am absolutely so impressed by the pick, so happy with J.D. Vance and absolutely certain this is a winning ticket. Thank you, Governor, former Governor Thompson, and, and he actually has been, he, he thought that former president was going to pick J.D. Vance all along. I mean, even though a lot, there was a lot of names in contention, this was the one that former Governor Thompson wanted to pick, and that's who gave the speech. And I want to show you how close the Wisconsin delegation sits here. Look at how close they are to the main stage right here. They had a front row seat to history here in Milwaukee. Steph and Ted.